What's up, guys? Dustin, Nico, and Brian here from the Don't Go Out There podcast. We got another fun little game for everyone. This is guess each director's highest rated horror film based on Letterboxd. Uh, mm. Nico and I have Letterboxd. Give us a follow on there if you don't already. But I'm going to throw a director pod. out there and the pot. I'm going <laughs> to throw a director out there. I want you to tell me the movie that is their highest rated and what you think it is. It's on a scale of, you know, one or half a star to five stars on Letterboxd. So number one, Jordan Peele. Small catalog, but. Get out. Nico. Get, get out. out 4.1. Okay. Brian. Uh, get out 4.5. Mm, it is get out. It's 4.2. Oh, mm. interesting. Nico got it. They get a little bit more complicated going forward. Uh, number two, Wes Craven. Mm. He's got some some throwbacks. Uh, I'm gonna go Scream 4.4.0. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go Nightmare on Elm Street 4.5. It is Scream, mm. and it is 4.0. And wow. so God. when I, funny, funny fact, when I originally put this list together, I was using Rotten Tomatoes, but it's a nightmare trying to navigate Rotten Tomatoes. Like the, their layout is awful. And so on Rotten Tomatoes, it is a nightmare on Elm Street at like 95%, but Letterboxd, Scream 4.0. Number three, Nico's Goat, James Wan. Oof. Are now these are questions? also... You can. I don't know that I'll answer it, though. But also keep in mind, this is just movies they've directed. So not producer, not written, necessarily directed. Is it a horror movie, though? No, don't yeah, answer it. These are, the, oh, okay. these, are only, these are only horror movies since we're a horror podcast. I, I was going to go Aquaman, so that's... No. That's what I was saying. Like, he's done Aquaman, Fast and the Fear. I wasn't sure. Okay, only horror movies. I want to go Saul. 3.9. Okay. What? okay. I want to be different, but I honestly think it's Saw as well, and I'm going to go three. Saw and The Conjuring are tied. Uh. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think agree. so too. That's a now we'll do Brian's go. Ari Aster. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Wes Craven's already been said. <laughs> Ari fucking Aster. <laughs> I thought you were going to say John Carpenter since I didn't think he, I know he doesn't like John Carpenter either. Uh, all right. Ari Aster. It's got to be, I think it's going to be hereditary. Uh, three, eight. Okay. Did he do Midsommar? Yeah. No. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. And Speaking Nico's of, wearing the shirt. Look at that. Nice. Oh. Well, then you saying no means it's not it. So I'm going to go. Oh. <laughs> Um, I'm probably going to go Hereditary as well, I guess. And people are crazy and love this movie. I'm going to go 4.7. Hmm. It's actually Bo's Afraid, Perfect 5.0. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Hereditary, 4.0. Again, Damn, that's okay. a little low, but man, that's, I don't think people are messing with horror like they should. I don't know. And lastly, my goat, Rob Zombie, Nico. Hmm. Oh, this is tough, actually. Uh, I'm going to say Devil's Rejects is his highest rated with a 3-2. Okay. Brian? What was the first one? God, I can't. I'm having a fucking brain fart. The first, the first of that trilogy. trilogy? House of a Thousand Corpses? House, that's the one I'm going to go with, and I, I'm going to go 3-6. It's the Devil's Rejects, 3.3. That is Damn. utter disrespect. That is utter disrespect. I am. That's, that's a little high. <laughs> I, I, oh, come on. I am actively making burner letterbox accounts to get that average up. So. <laughs> I'm terrible at these games. I don't. I, no, you got you to you get a letterbox, brother. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, it's for the people. It's it's all for the people. Yeah, it, letterbox is awesome. Like I said, give Nico, myself, and the podcast a follow. There's three accounts on there that we're affiliated with. But yeah, this is a lot Brian of fun. To get one. <laughs> and bully Brian into making one. So, all right, guys, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have some more lists like these and more games like this in the future. Take care. Boom.